We're here with Kayla from Luxury Daily. Uh, Kayla, would you mind taking us through the W gift guide? Sure. So here is the cover. Um, it's kind of the same style as the regular W magazines. And then you go through and there is full page ads everywhere. Um, for the first, I think like eight or ten pages. Which is kind of like the um, the regular magazine. Yep, just portion. like the regular magazine. Some of the ads are even the same as were in the regular December issue. And then um, you eventually get to the pages of their gift guides. So the gift guides are all kind of done either by the personality of the gift receiver or by kind of the purpose for the gift. So this one's for world's travelers and a lot of the advertising brands are also brands that are presented in the catalog such as Bottega Veneta and um, Chanel so it's a little bit of double promotion for those brands so this one's for sporty people and then you go through um, this one's to stay cozy and then there's just kind of all these really interesting gift guides and there's still one page ads on every side of each gift guide. This one's for the It Girl and it features Balmain, which we just saw there at in the beginning. And how do you think that the gift guides add value to the brands that are in them? Well, I think that people definitely, especially W readers, look to the gift guides and get inspiration from there for their gifts so they can go in and then at the bottom of the gift guides they tell you, sorry, I should have pointed that out, so you can see where to order the gifts in there. So I think it's like a very easy way for consumers to see gifts, get an idea for what they would get, who they would get it for, and then they can just go right there and order them. So I think that the brands definitely benefit from this type of thing and could possibly see increased sales. And how do you think that the W gift guide differs from other gift guides? Because there are, you know, a lot of luxury mm -hmm. focused magazines have gift guides out. How does this one differ? Well, I think this one is, um, it's actually really long. There's more than, there's more than 10 separate gift guides and they can go they do it based on personality of the receiver, or then at the end they do like a stocking stuffers page and a page for the beach, like things like that. So it just, the categories of the gifts are, they're not just the plain for her, for him, for your mom type things. They've got a really interesting kind of personal take to them. Okay, thank you.